All right, look at that. Breaking a leg sucks, surgery sucks. There's a lot of pain. Just had the staples removed. Whew. It curbs my active lifestyle. So when it's a complete circumferential cast around your leg, you can't fly with it. And I fly a lot. So if you want to fly, this is what the doctors do. They take your cast and they bivalve it. So they cut it in half and they put it on your leg and then they wrap it with an ace bandage. The idea is that on a plane, you could loosen it so your leg can expand with the pressure. Problem is that you can't walk on this. I reached out to Fathom in the Bay Area and said, hey, I need to find a better solution. And they said, come on over. And there are all these people that were really excited about how can we take breaking a leg and turn it into a positive experience for a person. To begin with, we took a scan of Mike's leg using a ferro arm, and we got an STL mesh from that. And then those curves became this solid model of Mike's leg. And that model was used to build the cast, which is basically an offset of that solid model of Mike's leg. We brought it into SolidWorks where we added the split line that separates the two bodies of the cast. We added the ratchet straps. And then in the sole, we have all of the components fitting in nicely. It's pretty much every design domain that exists. I mean, we had the mechanical side, uh, styling. We have Intel Edison, this little tiny module has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, antennas uh, already built onto it. These boards right here are great for prototyping, right? Because each board has one specific function and you can stack a lot of these boards together, you know, to kind of compose the functionality that you need. We have an analog to digital converter block, the base block, which provides power and lets us program medicine, a uh, nine degrees of freedom block, which does the inertial measurement unit. Then we have the force sensitive resistors themselves and then a uh, lithium ion battery in there. We call it the Boomcast. And this thing is badass. We call it Boomcast because it has a sound system in it. I grabbed my buddy's Boombotics little portable Bluetooth speaker and integrated that into the cast. It feels good on the leg and it also just brings up your spirit and your mood. And that's really important in the healing process. Here we have not only 3D printed mechanical bits, that are connected to the internet and controlled by it, thus the Internet of Things, but also running on a human and sensing what that human is doing. So that means my doctor can be monitoring the pressure in my cast, which means how much my leg is swelling, can be monitoring the accelerometer data, so you can actually be monitoring my movement. Look, I'm walking, this thing's great. Because then he can take that data and he can crunch it and say, well, you know, you haven't actually been putting your leg up and you need to do that because it'll bring the swelling down. We know it's been swelling because the pressure data has been up. Other really cool thing is, when a lot of people have these, is you can start to aggregate that data and you can look at trends. So you can say, well, the person that actually exercises, their bones healed faster. Or the person that does a really good job of managing their swelling, they heal faster. And so we can start to collect better data on what's happening with the patients. This may look like a final product, but remember, this is a one-off prototype. And this is part of the development process. And this is gonna continue. And so what we're doing is we're making this project completely open source so that all the information, all the designs, how we went about doing it is out there. So anyone can take it. So instead of being a downer and having a broken leg, get out there and make something cool. Live Dan.